Hi, my name is Ivan and I'm the Children and Youth Director here at Andover Baptist Church. We're on day four of a series of devotions I've called How Great Is Our God. If I could let you in to a little secret, I hope that it's just between you and me. Today is actually Saturday morning for me and uh, I am not as brave as our Senior Minister Chris Porter hosting a live Facebook devotions just yet. I'm enjoying the flexibility of being able to cut and edit and paste where I need to. Um, Chris, and even then, Chris does a great job at helping me out and actually does the majority of the work. I don't know about you and I don't know how your Saturdays start, but for me, it starts with a great cup of coffee and I usually in, in come downstairs and it's just my daughter and I, and I'm greeted with Hannah Montana in the background or a cooking show that she's watching on BBC. I'd like to dive in to the Gospel of John for our verse of today and go from there. John was a follower of Jesus, he was a brother of James, and uh, he, he wrote one of the Gospels and a few other of the books in the Bible. So we're going to dive in to John 16, 33. And this is right at the end, Jesus has sat down with them, he's told them that he's about to leave them, and uh, he's, he's busy explaining why. And here we go in John 16, 33. I've told you these things that you may know, that you may now have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Isn't that an amazing statement? Given everything we're going through at the moment, given the pandemic, given um, easing, not easing, where we're going, how we're getting there. I found great comfort in knowing that God has already overcome this world. If we take a second and just look at what we've accomplished over the last four months, all of a sudden our church is online. We're able to express ourselves in different ways across different platforms. We are more connected than ever at this point um, because we are able to use social media um, and our, our websites and our streaming services uh, as we um, live stream our church services. I can't help but take God and uh, take heart and think how great God has been and is in this time. Where we've had all these forms of communication, um, but only now has it come to its full fruition for us. Where we are able to make so much contact and be in contact with so many people we couldn't be with and be a part of in this time. There's so many of us who have been longing to try and get into a church building, but haven't been able to. And now, through this blessing of technology, we're able to stream live into, into people's houses. Not only that, we are able to set up sermons so that people can dial in, phone in to, and listen to the sermons that uh, have been preached. I can't help but think how great God is when we are being when we are so able now to touch hearts in so many different forms when not so long ago it seemed to be something we couldn't get to isn't it amazing to think how great god is that he has already overcome this that he saw this coming that he knew that we would use technology in this way to speak into the hearts and lives of so many people isn't it great to think that we are still able to do yoga classes online. And actually, we are able to have these talks now online where we're streaming into people's homes where we're not, maybe they feel more comfortable hearing and receiving. Such a great opportunity for us as we continue to expand and look at where God is taking us in the next coming months and in the coming years. How do we keep moving forward? And I just take great comfort in knowing that God has already seen that. And how great is it that we can lean into him, knowing that he has already overcome this time, knowing that we can see into the future, as we've been able to take a glimpse into the past, having looked at the sun and feeling its effect eight and a half minutes later, knowing that he has been there before and is looking ahead for us as well. So the song I've chosen for today is Waymaker miracle worker and I think 
for such a time as these, isn't it great to know that there is somebody out there making a way, having made a way, worked miracles, worked wonders. It's been so great spending time with you. I hope you have a blessed day wherever you are. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that you've gone ahead and you've overcome this world for us. Thank you that we can rest knowing that you've already taken care of everything. And even though sometimes it's difficult and even though our hearts are troubled, we know that you have made a way. Thank you for being so great that at each turn you are there. Amen. Thank you for spending time and again, and we'll chat soon.